Don't change a thing now, there was never trust Don't you say a word cause I've heard it all Hey guys, so I'm starting out with some MAC Fix Plus in the shade Pink Light on my skin. Then to prime, I used the Benefit Professional, but the Pearl Radiance one, just to give my skin a little bit of an illumination. Then I went in with this Tarte Stick Foundation, which, ugh, I've used it once before and I hated it. And I thought I'd try it again, you know, see what I thought, but I hated it even more this time so as you can see I applied it all over my face and then I tried blending it out with a Sigma F88 it just honestly looks cakey like I can't explain it it just looks horrible on my skin it doesn't cover up my redness so I went over it with some NARS She Glow foundation which is an old favorite of mine I use the shade Gobi because um, obviously I am pale and I just applied that pretty much directly over the top and then used the same F88 brush from Sigma to blend it out. It did pretty much fix the whole skin issue I had so that was good. Then to conceal I used the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC15 and I just applied it with my fingers and then used a Sigma F79 to blend that into my skin. And then I did just go back in with my F88 flat angle kabuki that I used for my foundation and I just pretty much blended the edges of the concealer and foundation. Then I used this Technic Cosmetics palette, it's like a contouring and highlighting palette and I just started with that paler shade but I decided to mix in that lighter banana shade with the pale shade and I just set all of the concealed areas. Um, yeah, so I started with an F35 from Sigma and then I switched over to an F10 for the bigger areas of my face. I used that same contour palette to contour my cheekbones. So I used the lightest matte contour shade and I used the F05 brush from Sigma and I just carved out my cheekbones and then added some color around my hairline, under my jaw, and those kinds of areas just to add a bit of, you know, color. And then I took that light banana shade again from the palette and just applied that underneath my contour to sharpen it out. Then I used this blush from CoverGirl. It's kind of kind of average. It doesn't give you a heap of color, but I wanted something with very little pigmentation because I'm so pale at the moment. And then to highlight, I used the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I always forget the name of this, but it'll be linked down below. It's in the shade Double Gleam, and oh, it's one of my favorite highlighters. I love it so much. So I just applied that to my cheekbones and then like my nose, cupid's bow, chin, all of those areas. Then moving into the eyes, I'm taking the original Sigma Warm Neutrals palette and taking the shade Cinnamon first and just buffing this messily into the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Um, this eye look is seriously so simple and so easy, so easy. Then I went in with the shade Cozy, which is kind of like a deeper brown, and I just did the same type of thing. Pretty much used the same E40 brush and just applied it into the crease and the lower lash line. Then I took the shade Russet, I think I'm saying that right, on a MAC 217 brush, and I just applied this into the outer V and sort of blended it around my crease as kind of like... I was kind of like hugging my eyelid, if that makes any sense. And then I applied it to the lower lash line as well. Then I just took my E40 and blended out those edges to make sure it was seamless. Then on my finger I took the shade Balanced, which is like a really, really super light golden champagne shade. Like seriously super light, you could barely see it. But I applied it to my lid and underneath the lower lash line in the inner portion. And then just took my E40 once again to blend those edges. Then I took my eyeliner. I'm using the Sigma Long Lasting 
eyeliner pencil which is actually being my favorite at the moment I am really loving this um, so I applied it in my tight line and then I applied it to my upper lash line just messily along there and then I went in with an E15 which is a flat definer brush and I just kind of brushed it out and made it a little bit smudgy and messy. And then I did just take the excess product that was on the brush underneath that lower lash line to make that look a bit thicker. And then for mascara, I used this little mini I had. It is the Troublemaker Mascara from Urban Decay. Honestly, nothing really special about it. I wasn't overly impressed, so I don't think you should rush out and buy it. And then for lashes, I used the Socialize Glamorous Lashes, which are an old favorite of mine. I seriously do love these. And then I just took that highlight that I used earlier on my face and put it in the inner corners of my eyes. And then moving on to the lips, I just used a Nude Sticks Glossy Pencil in the shade Posh. And that is the entire look. Super easy, quick, very simple. Don't need the lashes if you want to do it for an everyday look. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.